Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love being able to dry our own fruit and vegetables using this dehydrator unit. We built this out of a recycled bakery rack. Stay tuned and I'll show you how you can make your own DIY solar dehydrator. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. This solar dehydrator really works well. Uh, when you live in an area that is warm and breezy, you can remove a lot of moisture from fruits and vegetables. This has 16 shelves in it of sizable dehydration uh, capacity using standard window frame type of material. Now, if you've never built your own window screens, you're gonna need to do so for this. And you can check out the video right above that shows you how we do it step by step and so that becomes a skill that you possess as well. We'll also give it to you at the end of this video, so stick around and you can just watch it at the end and get that going for you as well. But what we've done with this rack is we've repurposed the rack by covering it with these screens. Now, without the door, let's just talk about without the door and we'll get to the door construction in a moment. You're going to need uh, five screens to box this in to keep flies and gnats, uh, your moths and all that out of it. And once you box this in, now you've got an area that you can put fruits and vegetables or items on parchment paper like these tomatoes that we've got there. Sometimes things go directly on the screens like all these grapes that you see here that we're able to produce these wonderful raisins right on these screens here. So, and we have another batch coming as well. But once you put this in here and create a doorway, you can seal it and it's gonna be beautiful with lots of air movement and therefore a lot of wicking away of the moisture pretty darn quickly. The whole thing is assembled using these self-tapping screws, hex head screws that allow you to use a drill driver. And that includes putting the screens on the aluminum frame of the bakery rack, but also assembling the door frame itself, the main frame that this screen right here is affixed to. Now let's talk about building this door. The door frame itself is constructed of off the shelf, one inch or 25 millimeter uh, channel like this, or just tube stock, square tube stock, aluminum. Now the cool thing about aluminum is you can cut it with a medium tooth blade on a miter saw or a power saw. That's right. We use our power miter saw 40 tooth blade and simply feed it through at a moderate rate, no chopping down hard. Uh, make sure it's clamped down and it'll cut clean. That is a butt cut and that is actually a 45 degree angle. This is a piece of leftover stock from when we constructed this door. So that what we did is we simply used 45 degree miters on all the corners to create this rectangle. And then we used a brace um, spreader bar in between to beef up the door. And then we used corner brackets that allowed us to have two screws in each side of the bracket. That way the bracket doesn't pivot, it keeps everything rigid and that created the door frame. In addition, we also threw on some magnetic catches right here. Uh, we threw three of, them, three of them on. If you feel that you wanna keep it more secure, you could certainly put some kind of latch on it, um, hook an eye, that sort of thing. Uh, but this allows us then uh, to go ahead and bring it around and it'll close itself, latch in there like that and we're just fine. So that is how the door is made. It's just a square assembly or squared assembly, a rectangle that fits to cover all the areas here and not allow any gaps large enough to let those pesky flies get into your delicious food that's dehydrating. Hinge installation is equally easy. So you can see right here that we used hinges that have three holes on each one, each side of the leaf here. We put four uh, hinges down along here. And simply what we did is clamp this in place, keep it in place, and then start with a hinge on the top, put one on the bottom, kind of went back and forth to make sure they don't bind. You can use hinges you want. These are uh, what they call a, a loose pin here where it's been peened in the end here. Uh, it's not like a full door hinge, but use what you've got. And now it's um, substantial enough 
that it pivots without feeling flimsy. And this door feels really nice. So this works really, really well. So far, what we've dehydrated in it is grapes. We make our own raisins for our small vineyard, which you've seen in other episodes of the vineyard. Um, tomatoes, because we have uh, just a bumper crop of tomatoes this year. So we're, gonna, we're dehydrating these tomatoes. Tomatoes, you need to dry fast. Get them out on a good sunny day and go from there, okay? Uh, and we've also done fruit leather, apricot fruit leather that is incredible. And that dried in about 48 hours, done. We had a full rack of that. We're still eating that and enjoying that. Great way to use up apricots and for your family to love it. So this works really well. What would we do differently or what do we plan to add? Well, a couple things. One, um, I may end up changing the wheels out on this and doing something more um, substantial, maybe building a platform like we did with our roll around storage cart, which was another one of these carts that was, um, was salvaged uh, to make it easier to roll around a little bit more stable for rougher surfaces, bigger wheels, okay? The second thing we're gonna do is add a handle or two here. Uh, you'd be surprised how many times you walk up to this and you go, which one's the front? And then the only place you can open it is to kind of grab it on the corner and do that. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a handle here. I may even put a color indicator on the side to say what side is the door just for a little bit of convenience. Um, the third thing we're considering doing is doing a solar booster at the bottom. If we build that, we'll make sure to mention it, put in a link down below. And what that is going to be is a channel that collects solar heat and expels hot air up into the bottom of this so that air rises through this. Again, boosting the drying power and shorting the duration of how long it takes to get finished product. If you've got a lot to dry, there's a lot of capacity here, but you wanna move quickly and get it done quickly. You don't wanna be dealing with it over days. You wanna do it day or two. All right, so if you're gonna build one of these, you're gonna build a lot of screens. And if you don't know how, like we promised, check out this video where we let you know how to build it step-by-step, step, the materials, how to put out a really nice product, something to be proud of, so you can acquire that skill. And while you're at it, also check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest right out of our catalog, and we'd love it if you'd watch it too. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, getting ready to dry a bunch of raisins. <laughs>